May God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, protect, and deliver you from all evils. At this moment, you are about to hear your most powerful prayers from the Bible, which are Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. Psalm 23 is a very strong prayer to bring about a change of scenery, honor, abundance, and a time of renewal. It is known for bringing comfort in difficult times, as mentioned in the psalm itself, where God promises to guide us through the valley of the shadow of death. It represents the evil day, represents a difficult moment, represents a moment of loss, a moment of tribulation. But if you cling to God and begin the prayer with great faith, in a few days you will see the action of the Divine Holy Spirit exceptionally in your life, causing your cup to overflow, as Psalm 23 reports. The overflowing cup represents you being a blessing in all areas of your life. We will also pray Psalm 91, the most powerful prayer to bring deliverance, protection, breaking of all bonds, and also to repel all spiritual attacks against your life. All people who are going through a moment of spiritual tribulation, being victims of envy, evil eye, problems in the financial, sentimental area, under spiritual attacks, or facing problems of infertility, diseases and illnesses, when they cling to the powerful Psalm 91, these people see God's action, deliverance. In a few minutes, by listening to Psalm 23 and Psalm 91, you can be sure that you are receiving victory, a time of renewal, open doors, honor, and a change of scenery. It is also a time of deliverance and protection, so that no evil comes near you, so that no plague approaches you, your home, or your family. In the comments, I want you to write your first name and also the name of who you want to include in these two powerful prayers. Amen. Know that in the things of God, there are no coincidences. In the things of God, either He makes it happen or He allows it to happen. If you are hearing this prayer, if this prayer has reached you, it is because God has a purpose. He wants to bless you, wants to open doors, wants to provide for you, wants to give you many victories. Psalm 91, as I mentioned minutes ago, is the psalm that brings protection, but it also brings release, where it is. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 91, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the most high, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion, and the adder the young lion, and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him, I will protect him, because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will rescue him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Lord God, our Father, in this moment of prayer, under the blessing of Psalm 23 and also Psalm 91, I want to pray now, my God, for this life and I want to ask my God that at this moment your daughter, your son, may be touched with all sorts of blessings. That closed doors may open, Lord. That those who are hearing this prayer now who are unemployed, who are my God, struggling financially, your word says, Lord, that you are our shepherd and we shall not want. So my God, I want to see the door clearly open, that those who have legal issues, the cases shall be resolved. That those who are in debt, I believe that provision, providence will come, those debts will be paid. That those who, my God, are going through a tough time, 
I believe that the Lord will deliver them from this humiliation, this struggle, this war, and bring forth a time of blessing and victory. Father, I also want to present the lives of all who are listening to me now, who are my God under attacks, terrorists, suffering, being victimized by envy, evil eye, arrows of sickness, illness, under curses. That now, my Father, the enemy's attack, the adversary's attack, falls to the ground does not prevail, Lord. Wherever this prayer is reaching, may it bless the entire environment. May it protect every place it reaches. May it bring my God prosperity. May it bring my God peace. May it bring my God peace. May it bring unity. May it bring the light of the Lord. I declare all sorts of blessings upon your life, upon your home, as well as upon your family, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May this consecration, this glass of water, go forth, so that through this water, when your son, your daughter drinks, may he, she be flooded by your grace and protection. May each drop of this water be a symbol of your presence and restoring power in their lives. May health, prosperity, and peace flow like crystal clear waters in their homes. May all barriers break before your power and may love and harmony be restored in every relationship. Lord, may this prayer reach the hearts that need it most. May tears of sadness be transformed into tears of joy and gratitude. Strengthen, Lord, those who are weak, console the afflicted, and give hope to the discouraged. May every word spoken here be like a balm for wounded souls and a beacon of hope for the lost. Bless, Lord, every person seeking your help at this moment. May they feel your powerful presence and recognize your unconditional love for them. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, my God, for hearing this prayer and for acting with mercy and power. May your will be done in our lives and may we live according to your purposes. Amen. Lord, as we immerse ourselves in your presence in this moment of prayer, we recognize your sovereignty and your constant care over us. Father, we ask that you continue to pour out your blessings upon each person who calls upon you at this moment. May your light illuminate the path of those who are lost in darkness. May your wisdom guide those facing difficult decisions, and may your peace comfort troubled hearts. Give us, Lord, the strength to face the challenges that arise in our path and the faith to trust in your providence in all circumstances. May your love surround us like a mantle, giving us courage to face each day with hope and determination. And Father, we do not forget to express our gratitude for all the blessings we have already received from you. You are worthy of all praise and worship, and we surrender to you all our love and devotion. May this prayer echo in the heavens and be accepted before your throne as a sweet aroma. In Jesus' name, amen. In the silence of the night, when shadows dance around, there is a light that shines beyond the stars, a presence that envelops the hearts of the righteous. In the deepest valleys of life, where fear lurks like a hungry predator, there is a hand that guides and protects, a strength that sustains the weary. In the heat of battles, where enemies rise like a relentless storm, there is an impenetrable shield, an unshakable fortress that guards the children of the Most High. As the shepherd cares for his sheep, so the Lord cares for his children with love and tenderness, guiding them through the paths of life and leading them to the eternal dwelling, where they will reign forever in his presence. O God, you are our refuge and our strength, the safe shelter amidst life's storms. Just as Psalm 91 reminds us, we trust in you to protect us under your mighty wings to guard us from the dangers that surround us, and to guide us along the paths of righteousness and peace. You are our shepherd, O Lord, as proclaimed in Psalm 23, and in you we find rest for our weary souls. Lead us along the paths of righteousness, guide us with your staff and your rod, and fill us with courage to face the challenges that arise in our journey. May we dwell in your presence, O God, and find comfort under the shadow of your wings. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, Fill our hearts and give us strength to face each day with unwavering faith. Protect us, Lord, from visible and invisible dangers, from the traps of the enemy and the temptations that surround us. May your mighty hand always be extended over us, guarding us from all evil and delivering us from every danger. Strengthen our faith, O God, so that we may fully trust in you at all times, knowing that you are our shield and our protection. May we find our hope and salvation in you today and forever. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Almighty Lord, amidst the adversities of life, we seek refuge in you, for you are our rock, our unshakable fortress. As written in Psalm 91, we trust in your faithfulness 
and take refuge under your protective wings. Grant us, O God, the courage to face the challenges that arise in our path. May we walk in faith, knowing that you are with us, guiding us with your wisdom and strengthening us with your grace. Just as a shepherd cares for his sheep, you care for us, O Lord, with love and tenderness. In your presence we find rest for our troubled souls, and in your word we find comfort and hope. Protect us, O God, from the perils of the world and the snares of the evil one. May your light shine amidst the darkness, dispelling fear and uncertainty, and may your truth guide us along the path of abundant life. Pour out upon us, Lord, the oil of joy and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. May we be clothed with your peace, which surpasses all understanding, and may our lives be a testimony of your love and grace. May we trust in you wholeheartedly in all circumstances, knowing that you are our protector and our deliverer. May our faith be as firm as the mountains and our hope unwavering as the stars in the sky. Lord, may we feel your presence by our side with every step we take, strengthening and guiding us with your loving hand. In every challenge we face, may we find in you the strength to persevere and the wisdom to discern the best path forward. Grant us, O God, the humility to acknowledge our dependence on you in every area of our lives. May we entrust to you our worries and anxieties, trusting that you are our provider and will never abandon us. In the midst of tribulations and difficulties, may we lift our eyes to the hills from where our help comes and renew our faith in your promise that you will always be with us until the end of time. May every word we speak and every action we take be pleasing to you, O God, and may we live according to your will, reflecting your light and love to the world around us. Strengthen us, Lord, to resist temptation and overcome evil with good. May we be instruments of your peace and reconciliation, bringing hope and comfort to those who suffer and need your love. In you we find our security and our hope, O God, and in your name we entrust our lives and our future. May we glorify your name and exalt your greatness and goodness in every moment. Lord, amidst the storms of life, you are our firm anchor, the unshakable rock on which we can rely. Just as Psalm 91 reminds us of your constant care, we take refuge in you, finding comfort and protection under your wings. May your presence, O God, be the light that guides our steps, illuminating the path of truth and justice. In every moment of uncertainty, may we find in you the peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing that you are our safe refuge. Grant us, Lord, the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it, even when the path seems difficult. May your word be our compass, guiding us on the journey of life and strengthening us in times of tribulation. May your grace, O God, surround us like a protective mantle, guarding us from all evil and preserving us in your presence. In every challenge we face, may we find in you the strength to persevere and the hope to keep moving forward. May your promises, O Lord, be our anchor in the storms, sustaining us and strengthening us when all seems lost. May we find comfort in you for our pains and solace for our afflictions. Strengthen our faith, O God, so that we may trust in you in all circumstances, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill all your promises. May we find our security and hope in you today and forever. In the name of Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, we pray. Amen. Beloved Heavenly Father, as we conclude this moment of communion and prayer, we want to thank you for your constant presence in our lives. Thank you for enveloping us with your love and protecting us with your grace, as proclaimed in Psalms 91 and 23. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, remain with us as we bid farewell to this sacred moment. May your light continue to guide our steps and illuminate our path, today and always. May your word, O God, remain alive in our hearts, nourishing our faith and strengthening our hope in you. Help us to live according to your will, reflecting your love and truth in all that we do. We trust in you to lead us and protect us in every step of the journey that lies ahead. May we move forward with courage and confidence, knowing that you are with us in every moment until the end of time. In the name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord, we pray. Amen.